Great teaching enables people to do things which will change the world. And that brings us to an important moment in this ceremony when we come to recognise someone who has gone on to do things that really do change the world. And we recognise someone's exceptional achievement through the conferment of an honorary degree. The award is, this time, this morning, uh, goes to Yoganathan Rathison, who is to be awarded for his outstanding contribution to services to business, to entrepreneurship, but also to his support to Kingston University. And I'm especially delighted that uh, we offer this award this time to a graduate of our university. I think that's rather special. So I invite Yoganathan to stand whilst Professor Richard Ennels presents him. It's a great honour to uh, introduce you to Yoganathan Lathison. Yoganathan Lathison is the owner and co-founder of Labara Group, a highly successful telecommunications company that produces services using the mobile virtual network operator business model. He co-founded Navara in 2001 at the age of 25 with the clear aim of transforming the international calling market by providing ethnic and migrant communities with high-quality, low-cost solutions for keeping in touch with family and friends. More than 10 years on, Navara is one of the world's fastest-growing mobile companies with some 4 million active customers, 1,000 employees, and operators in eight countries. During this time, Navarra has received a number of accolades, including being ranked as the fourth fastest growing private company in Great Britain in the Sunday Times Fast Track 100 listing in 2006, and winner of the most innovative service at the Mobile News Awards in 2009. In August 2012, Rathison took on the position of chairman for the Barra Group after holding the position of CEO since he co-founded the company. He will now focus on the strategic development of the organisation as it builds towards its 2020 vision of being the brand of choice for one billion people around the world. Alongside his two friends and co-founders, his next ambition is to expand their charitable venture the Labara Foundation, which is already building a community with homes, a school, and a clinic for local and displaced children in Chennai, southern India. To fund it, they plan to donate half their wealth to the foundation. A thesis who has recently been named Ernst & Young London and South Entrepreneur of the Year 2012, holds a BSc in Aeronautical Engineering from Kingston University. Kingston University is pleased to award Yuganathan Rathisa the degree of Doctor of Letters Honoris Causa in recognition of his outstanding contribution to business and entrepreneurship. Sorry. The Vice Chancellor, I have the honour of presenting to you. Uh, you're going to have a thesis for the award on the staff. By the authority vested in me as Vice Chancellor of Kingston University, I have the honour of awarding you. Yoganathan Rathisan, the degree of Doctor of Letters Honoris Causa for your contribution to entrepreneurship, business, and your charitable works. Congratulations, it does this university honour to have you as our graduate.
morning, everyone. I'm actually going to hire Richard to do our ads. You did absolutely well. <laughs> Firstly, let me thank my parents who are here today. And let me explain why I wanted to thank them first. The day of my graduation at Kingston, some years ago now, I was working for a calling card shop selling calling cards at the counter. And I had completely forgotten that it was my graduation day. So you guys have done well. So while I was at work, one of my friends whom I had met at Kingston called me up and said, aren't you joining us today at the ceremony? So I then rushed all the way here, and I had only managed to get a photograph right at the end with the extra, extra large gown. So I've managed to have a tailor-made one today, so thank you so much. Um, so that evening, my father came home after work and I told him about the ceremony. He was literally in tears with great disappointment because he couldn't see his son graduate and said it's the only reason that I have worked so hard all my life. My mother and father had sold a lot of valuable position of theirs in order to get educated, in order to educate me. And I had disappointed them. So I always wanted to do another degree so that I can take my parents for the graduation day. Now, <laughs> so now the faculty at Kingston has made my life a lot easier <laughs> in the fact that I don't have to embark on another degree by being here today. So. Now let me thank the Vice Chancellor, Dean, and the rest of the faculty at Kingston for such an honor where I could bring my parents along and make them proud. I hope you all have brought your parents today unless you have an ambition of doing another degree. <laughs> I have to admit that I was an model student at Kingston. I chose aeronautical engineering simply because it had more numbers in it than letters. So I signed up for it. And I'm so thankful to all my lecturers I have had during my years at Kingston for the incredible patience to educate students like me with great passion and giving us the wisdom to face the wider world in order to build our future, not only for ourselves, but also for the wider community. It was not the, if it is not for their support, I don't know where I would be today. So thank you again. To, to those of you who know my story, I'm told, let me repeat, I'm told that I'm an entrepreneur because I don't believe that I'm an entrepreneur, which is why I'm standing before you today. And for the most part, the world defines me in terms of my success and what I have achieved and things that I have built. But to me, my success is merely a byproduct of the things that define the person I am, the life I have. I have been given and the choices that I have made along the way. Libara was founded 11 years ago by three friends. Together we have built an organization with an idea started off with a napkin at an airport in Oslo, in, in, in Bergen, in Norway. And today Libara has reached over $1 billion in revenue and having operations in over eight countries and it continues to grow and expand year on year. The vision that I have for the Bara, for the brand to be, the brand to be the, the brand of choice for one billion people around the world by 2020. Let me explain what I mean by that because a lot of people get that wrong. We don't mean that we want to have one billion customers. By 2020, the world, the estimated world population will be eight billion. And out of that 8 billion, 1 billion people will be migrants. So our 1 billion and being brand of choice that Libara wants to continue to focus on migrant communities around the globe. 
And I know it's hard to believe, but I'm a dreamer. I would like to say to all of you that if you dare to dream, you are already way ahead of most of the people on this planet. Because that's where it all starts, with a dream. It's not about what you know. It's not about what you don't know. It's about what you believe in. That's what matters in the day. Pour your heart into your dreams and drive it with conviction. As people say, everything is possible as long as you, you put your heart and mind to it. Learn to dream with your eyes wide open. Learn to dream day and night because dreams do come true and I'm standing in front of you. Our parents taught us the morals and values. Our teachers have given us the basic academic learnings. Then our own experiences give us the confidence to choose the path to our future. But it is you who has to make that decision end of the day. To me, I wanted to apply the basic principles I have learned from my parents and my teachers and build a company. I have done this with clear consciousness, with the support of Leon and Karen, who are my friends and co-founders at Labara. I can tell you it has not been easy, but it has been deeply satisfying. And for that, I would like to thank them and all of our families for their unconditional love and support. For those who are graduating today, Along with your degree, ensure that you have the right attitude because skills can be learned, knowledge can be acquired at any company, but your attitude cannot be taught. So whether, congratulations first of all, but whether you get a first class degree or a 2-1 or 2-2 or merely a pass, because I was one, your attitude will take you a long way in the path of succession. Your attitude is a set of characteristics that will uniquely define you. Focus your energy on your strengths, not on your weaknesses, because it will take a lifetime if you want to mend your weaknesses. So ensure that you are best in what you do and where your strengths lie. I have to confess that I'm neither old enough or wise enough to give you an answer. But I want to say this. The secret to being successful is very simple. It is not, it's nothing to do with money, or fame, and everything to do with finding your purpose. And if you have the conviction to stay true to that purpose, you will possess the greatest joy and the fulfillment possible. The purpose of your life has to be far greater than your personal agenda. As Richard said earlier, yes, when we started the organization, we wanted to make money. I wanted to look after my family, I wanted to have a nice house, nice cars, and it just the list carries on. At some point that you realize what is enough for you. And I have I can honestly admit in front of all of you that I do have more than I need, and I do have and I've been given more than I deserve. So in my point of view, it's rightly so to give back. Hence why the Libara Shareholders together have given half of our shares back into the Barra Foundation. My purpose have been, has been redefined, which is I would love to look after 100,000 children at any point in time before my time. Meaning not just feed them, but bring them on board, educate them, feed them, and give them a life so that they can carry on with their future. Today, the Barra Foundation feeds over 16,000 children around the world, every single day. And so as many people ask me, what is the secret behind your success or the recipe of success and so forth? To me, I have no answers to give you. The only thing that I can say is, whatever the basic principles are, whatever that your heart tells you to do, just follow them and ensure that you don't give up while you're at it. I would like to wish you all the very best of luck in whatever you choose to do or wherever your path leads you to, but never forget to dream. And before I finish, I would like to take a few moments to say something in Tamil so my father can understand Amanapa Nandri. 
Thank you.